<laughs> is that a rolling? It is. Okay. Then I have no further jokes to make. So the project at the World Bank that inspired Global Giving was something that called the Development Marketplace. And for some reason, the president of the World Bank at that time decided that uh, he should put us in charge of uh, innovation and new products. So over the course of two days in the year 2000, it was a festival of ideas where your social status didn't matter, where you came from didn't matter. All that mattered was the potential of your idea. So it was a physical event, uh, sort of science, high school science fair meets VC pitch session. And at that event, we had uh, 339 finalists from 82 countries. We had women from Uganda who had never been outside of their home province. They had never even been to the capital of Uganda. Standing in the atrium of the World Bank, competing against scientists from NASA here in Washington, D.C., Supreme Court justices from Latin America. If you have a good idea, bring it into the atrium on a certain day, set up a booth, just kind of like a science fair, the way Mari said, and uh, we will uh, fund your idea if, it, if it's a good one. So they didn't have access to the resources of the World Bank until the development marketplace. That, at that time, this is the late 90s, that was a crazy idea. It was crazy that regular people around the world would have idea, innovative ideas to improve uh, social and economic conditions. That's what specialists and experts did. That's why we had the World Bank. So just think if you really went, put your mind to it and sought out all these uh, entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, how many there could be. And wouldn't it be an amazing thing to support them? And when that event was over, I could, again, I can remember us sitting there when the uh, people were cleaning up the booths and everything. And this woman from South Africa came up to me and uh, she said, we didn't win. And I said, come back in a year, we'll do this again in a year, maybe in 18 months, and try again. And she said, I don't want to wait 18 months, because if the World Bank doesn't like my idea, other people might like it. So when are you going to start the secondary market? I knew that she had said something very fundamental. And she had made a, she had asked us just to do what made sense. And so I think about six months later, Mari and I did something very shocking. Um, we just resigned from the World Bank. And so we started completely from scratch. And in some ways the last 13 years has been an amazing journey because of that.